Would you buy a fake Louis Vuitton bag for your wife? And how would you appreciate that? I know, I know, I would be sleeping on the couch for a little. Welcome. Um, we had an amazing, amazing uh, blog post comparing ceramic speed versus Kogel. Uh, I've been really impressed by all the responses we got from people. Uh, we, we believe in true honesty and putting the word out there. So um, we got four times more readers than we have had on any blog post before. So that's incredible. Thank you for doing that. So today we're following up on Ceramic Speed versus Kogel with Kogel versus Counterfeit Kogel. That's right. We found our products on Alibaba and um, yeah, what do I do first? I'm a very curious person. I just went out and I, and I bought some just to see what the quality is, see what we're up against. Um, so here is your original Kogel Colossus. Comes in a nice, beautiful box. Um, just for the sake of comparison, I picked the gold one so you can easily see which one is the, is the fake one and which one is the, the real one. And then here we have the counterfeit Kogel Colossus. First of all, you're gonna buy something really premium. You want a premium service with that, right? Somebody wants, you want to be able to call the company. They're gonna pick up the phone and tell you what you need. I haven't tried, but I might guess that my friends from overseas are not available by phone. So. 915-777-5666, call in anytime. We've got three people here to pick up your call and, and talk to you if you have any questions. First impressions between these two, they look, the counterfeit Colossus actually look so much better than I expected. First thing I noticed is, and, and I might have to keep this um, a little closer to my microphone, if you spin these bearings, they spin incredible, and I don't know if you can hear this, they also sound like you took some bricks and put them in your laundry dryer. This is very clear that this is a very low quality bearing. It has no grease in it, that's why it spins this fast, and that's also probably the reason why it doesn't last if you install it. First of all, like I said, the rotation stop screw it comes out, I'm impressed. It looks slightly different from the one that we use on the original Colossus. I don't know if you can see that from the distance, but we'll get a close up of that. Ours is very angular, this one is rounded. It uses a different size Allen key. Uh, functionality, probably the same. Thread on this is uh, decent. It's a little loose, so you might have a small chance of uh, losing this screw if you don't lock tight it in or don't tighten it enough. But yeah, you can see it, it, it wiggles a little bit. Um, that's a minor issue. Then taking out the screws from this, the first thing I noticed is, first of all, these screws are bone dry. They're not Loctited in. So again, when you ride this, there's a lot of vibrations in your bike when you're riding. It's gonna vibrate and the screws are gonna back out and you're gonna lose them at one point. We use a Loctite on all our, um, on all our Colossus screws, so that doesn't happen. Even if you buy a Colossus that requires you to disassemble it before you install it on the derailleur, we will include the Loctite in the packaging. That doesn't, uh, apply to this model, but it applies for every model for, for SRAM uh, ETEP access, for instance. This is something that's just waiting to back out, and once you lose one of the screws and maybe your lower pulley wheel pops out, you're stranded. You're calling for Uber today. Next thing that I noticed on these is that the quality of the screws, um, you could see how easily I, I had to back out that one screw, like these are locked tied it in, you see how much friction there is here. There's no point in having uh, screws in your in your $450 Colossus if you take them out in the rain 
once or twice, they start getting rusty and looking ugly. So high quality screws compared to the one that I just pulled out off the counterfeit Colossus, they already oxidized. This hasn't even been outside yet and I can already see the oxidation on the, on the screws. So even though you think you look good with your $45 fake product, people are gonna notice after you run it for a month. Let's continue. I've taken out all the screws. Let's take this apart and see what else we notice. Like I said, the machining on this, pretty good. If you gave me this and didn't tell me it was a counterfeit, I would have to look really close and hard at, at the small details to notice that, that this didn't come from Google manufacturing. Then, looking at the wheels, the blue covers, the color of blue is kind of purplish, it looks faded. Um, anodizing is a process that's really hard to control for color, like you can never get it exact. Uh, this one is 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 far off. If, if this were a Kogel product, that would be a reject for us. So um, as I'm as I'm trying to remove these covers, I notice that they are completely stuck in the bearings. So something is off with the machining tolerances. Normally, we push these things out with a with an Allen tool on this wannabe Colossus. I really have to wiggle them out, and as I'm doing that, you can see I'm having a hard time on it. First thing I see is a bearing with a steel uh, shield on it. Kogel bearings uh, all use seals. They will be either blue or green for roads and our cross seals. This bearing has a steel shield and that's an immediately an indication of something we've never done. As I said, spinning is actually incredible because there's no grease in this bearing. It uh, means it's built for the showroom, it's built to look good, or in the case of this thing, probably to save cost. We put grease in all our bearings, so that means you have to break them in for a little bit. You know, that was the teardown. We found all the things that were good about the counterfeit Colossus. We found all the things that were bad about the counterfeit Colossus. If you're the person that wants to support an American company, wants to get performance benefits, and um, just, just you know, go out and, and have a really cool bling piece on your bike. The original Kogel is for you. Cut. All right, wrap it up.